Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Class of Auto World. I'm Mike, and this is my friend Hank. Hi. Hank was nice enough to invite us to his uh, garage to take a look at some of his amazing cars. So uh, let me grab the camera and we're going to start with this 1958 Crown Imperial Convertible. So you're close. Uh, oh. It's actually a 1958 Imperial Crown Convertible. There we go. Right, the Crown was the midline series and the convertible was part of that model lineup. This is uh, one of about 675 cars uh, convertibles produced. It's uh, done in Tahitian coral, that's the name of the color. Uh, pretty rare car uh, and uh, this one uh, spent most of its life in Arkansas so it's rust free. Um, it's been uh, almost fully restored. Uh, I'd say sympathetically restored so it's Repainted, replated, new chrome, trim, and uh, interior. Uh, most of the interior seats, frankly, um, that's original uh, crown cloth with little crowns stitched into the upholstery. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. And, it's got um, like a sheen to it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's it's this Middle East um, fabric, uh, which is really really incredible and it's in magnificent shape for something that was manufactured in 1958 new dash pad dash has been restored oh, really new, new rugs can i open the door yeah of course mm -hmm. beautiful right right got an incredible door cells yeah look at that it and says uh, imperial on it there it does right with little rubber square scuff pads and um, power and then, bench seat pa yeah power it's, uh, power windows power seats has almost every every option that you can get and you'd expect that on one of these most of these have a have either a vinyl or a vinyl leather combination interior it's really rare to find one with a cloth this is cloth really nice seat, and this is done in champagne that was the color i was just going to ask it's called yeah. champagne the other thing that's rare about this is the wraparound rear convertible window so that it matches actually the window line of the two-door and four-door hard tops okay um something you never ever see um really difficult this is like a, a moth color isn't it well it's again it's tahitian coral it's really tahitian a coral, coral color i think is this uh yeah that opens up that's a typical uh crown option only where the where the um the armrest pops up yeah the armrest pop up and uh, so that's how that's how they operate that's pretty cool yeah only on crown and lebarons uh standard imperials didn't have that yeah that's a that's probably my favorite imperial script yeah uh, that's beautiful really really cool they used that for three or four years. That's nice. a standard imperial wheel cover. They were all, all had that white insert for the crown. The, the crown, center. yeah. So you have the recurring crown theme. This is a 392 Hemi, uh, the last of the Hemi engines. It's a 426 Street Hemi. Wow. This is um, uh, 340 horsepower. It's very uh, clean in there. Yeah, uh, right, uh, and uh, it's uh, connected with to a um, three-speed Chrysler Torque Flight. Um, so it's uh, it's a great drive line. Uh, if you notice, there's a huge uh, vacuum canister. A lot of things run on from vacuum on yeah. this car. Yeah. Um, it's not the right uh, color for the engine, though. Just for anybody watching, it should be silver. So what what? The areas that are black on the, the valve covers, the air cleaner, they, that should actually be um, silver and the red, um, the red, these red should uh, be black tubes, right? They actually uh, uh, cover the um, the wires in there, the, the spark plug wires, right? And they should, should that should be black, but okay. it looks nice, so I'm not. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Why, why change something that um, looks so pretty? Looks very nicely detailed, too. Yeah, tri tri triple horns, just like a Cadillac Eldorado. One really, oh, really long center note, and then a high note and a low note. So it sounds like a locomotive yeah. when you uh, hit the horn. So, 58s are a really pretty car. Yes. And uh, I'm really lucky to have those. Uh, it is a beautiful car. Yeah. It's got those uh, unique taillights, like the yeah, rings right. of Saturn, so to speak. 
Right. Is there a name for that or a term well, for that? Well, it's uh, Tom McCahill of Mechanics Illustrated called them called them sparrow strainers. Really? That if it hit you, a bird hit it, it would get sucked through. <laughs> of course, I don't think that ever occurred. But it, but no, it's just a it's just a imperial freestanding taillight adaptation for 57, 8, and 9. They all had that taillight. They also, all the Imperials had the, um, the photon. embossed uh, right deck lid that was called a flight sweep deck lid. The design neat. changed from year to year. Yeah, I like it, uh, yeah. actually, yeah. And uh, it's very fashionable slope deck. Yeah. This so, is that rear window you were talking about? Yeah. It right. is rounded. Yeah, it's it's a wraparound window. Just yeah. you have it, and then it unzips here on both sides, and then you very carefully fold it down. It's not easy to, uh, to it's easy to kink. Is it? Got to be careful how you uh, right. pack it fold away. It down, yeah. But it's a beautiful car. Yeah, it is. Very rare, probably. Um, you don't see these very often. You don't see them. They don't come up for sale very often. If they do, they're usually pretty rough. I would imagine if they didn't they're, make if they're restored, restored, they're pretty expensive. So I would imagine they didn't make too many convertibles. Six hundred and seventy-five. Yeah. So, so no idea how many are left. No, well, they I they tell you fifteen percent is the usual. Got the uh, grill work at the bottom yeah, of yeah, the, uh, the windshield vent, there, right. the vents. So yeah, so six seventy-five is the number they usually use. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, fifteen percent is the number they usually use. Let's try to get around the front here. Yeah. Take a look at those uh, headlights in that grill. Right. Even has the crown at the top of the fender. Yep. Okay. I'll be right back. Thank you, Hank. Yep. Tell me what you think, folks. 1958 Imperial Crown Convertible.